This is The Rumor Report with Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. Yes, Wendy Williams has been having some health issues. You know, she's canceled the past few shows. Now, here's what she had to say because, you know, we're a little bit concerned that one time she passed out and fainted and she's been looking a little bit dizzy. Well, here's what she said on Instagram. It's not the flu yet, but I feel flu-ish. I feel awful. I had to be talked out of not going to work today and taking off a few days to get myself together because I'm a thoroughbred. You know, I have not taken off. Since we started the show. Yeah, I don't know if you've seen the show, but she almost passed out again. So yeah, I saw I, that. It's like she I tried she to hold herself okay. up. All right, now Lamar Odom says he wants to play in the Big Three. Now, we actually went to a Big Three game last mm-hmm. year when it all kicked off at the Barclays in Brooklyn, Ice Cube's Big Three League. And Lamar Odom said he wants to play as a tribute to Russell Butler. Here's what he said. The, the person I wanted to play for just passed away, so it don't matter. I just want to go out there and represent for him, Russell Butler. Lamar Odom, I hope he's in good shape. I haven't seen him play basketball in a minute. Yeah, I haven't seen him play ball in a minute either. But if he gets in shape, I think it would be dope. I think him coming to the league would be dope. He's aggressive. He's strong. He's tall. I think it'll be a, a, it'll be good for the league. Right, and he's doing it, as I said, as tribute to Russell Butler. Russell Butler, as you know, was killed in a car crash on January 31st, and it was his best friend in the NBA. So I guess he has something to work for right. when you're working for your friend. All right, Scott Bayer, we told you before about his co-star from Charles in Charge, Nicole Eggert, and how she is claims that he sexually assaulted her when they worked on the show together. Well, now her co-star, Alexander Polinsky, claims that Scott Bayo exposed his genitals to him and called him a homophobic slur, and he was only 11 years old when it went down. Mm-mm-mm. Here's what happened at their press conference. During the first year of the show, I was 11 or 12, I observed Scott with our co-star, Nicole, on his lap backstage. I was so naive, I innocently hopped on his lap, expecting to hear a story about Fonzie or Happy Days. Scott immediately threw me off him and began angrily calling me f- Scott told me of his sexual conquests with young girls and the co-stars of the show. Scott pulled down my pants in front of over a hundred people. And on another time, he laughed as he cut a hole in the canvas wall of my private dressing room on set and exposed his genitals to me. This is crazy. That's disgusting. He had a glory hole in his room. But he was only 11 years old when he started. Now, uh, Scott Bayo's team says they are going to have their own news conference, and that's going to happen today. So we'll see what happens. My goodness. All right. Well, I'm Angela Yee, and that is your rumor report. And also, Amari Stoudemire looks like he's going to be joining Ice Cube's Big Three League. So it should be a real, real good season this year. Yeah, we enjoyed it last year, and it was the first season. So this will be exciting. The Breakfast Club, every weekday morning. Tune in.